Australia's COVID-19 outbreak in Sydney is worsening, with seven more deaths reported yesterday alone. That took deaths in New South Wales during the outbreak to 107, with close to 1,000 people in hospitals. A Sydney-based epidemiologist, Professor Mary Louise McLaws, told our producer Karen Brown about the stark reality on the ground. The number of deaths are increasing. We're up to 107, so that's more than one death a day particularly since lockdown. The uh, number of hospitalizations have increased. Uh, We now have 957 in hospital. So the hospitalization creeps up every day. We have 160 in ICU and 64 people on ventilation. As the case numbers go up, uh, we'll probably see 3.3 deaths per every thousand. And so far, sadly, In New South Wales, we have 23,873 cases in total. There is absolutely no sign of it flattening. I've run a a daily case average over five days and then run it over 10 days because outbreak management usually looks at trends over twice an average incubation period. And we don't seem to see any slowing down whatsoever, which is very disappointing. And we also see the same trend in Victoria. They have no slowing down. We've seen several false starts in Victoria where we think it's slowing down, but in fact, it just ramps up again, particularly after the weekend. And sadly, we were previously in double digits three days ago at 76 cases on that particular day. Then it ramped up to 120 yesterday, and today it's 176. Any signs yet that hospitals are coming under pressure? There are no actual signs yet. However, there's certainly the Australian Medical Association and the Nursing Association are very concerned that they will start to see more cases in hospital and, uh, of course, more pressure on intensive care, more pressure on ventilators, and of course, more pressure just on staff. We will need more staff. We'll need to furlough them, give them a rest, and put in different staff. Are people rushing to get the vaccine? Mm, They would if there was more vaccine available, but there's very little vaccine available. In Australia, only 18% of those aged 16 to 39 have been able to get two doses and only 35% in the 16 to 39 have been able to get a first dose. And that is Sydney epidemiologist Mary Louise McClaw speaking to our producer Karen Brown.